Hi, my name is Rome. I'm a local photographer in the Eagle, Idaho area, which is right next to Boise, if you're unfamiliar with where that's at. Today I wanted to make a quick video for photographers as well as maybe new people to the area. Maybe you're, you're, maybe you're accustomed to the area, but you're not real familiar with certain locations for great photography. Today we're at, at Catherine Albertson's Park, and Catherine Albertson's Park is located on Americana and Ann Morrison Boulevard in downtown Boise. It's right across the street from Ann Morrison Park, and this place has thousands, well, maybe not thousands, but a lot of really good places to do, do photography, as well as video. So, let's take a look. So what's really cool about Al Catherine Albertson's is we can start from, uh, if we come into the park, we go and look on the left side, we've got this really cool walkway over here. And it, this is the time, right now it's summertime, so this place is really, really pretty. But as you can see, you can do a lot of foliage locations. Okay, so, so for this time of the day, this is a pretty lousy time of the day, to be honest, to be shooting here, just because it's, a, it's around one o'clock right now. But this is what I'm doing today. Ideally, you wanna be here in the evenings or mornings when the sun is low or you have the magic hour, the, the uh, golden hour. It's so a little bit of clarification on this location, right? Right now, it's about two o'clock in the afternoon, so the sun's directly above us. Uh, this is a pretty lousy time to be shooting here unless you are shooting in the trees where it's shaded. Um, it's summertime right now, so it is very beautiful. There's a lot of, uh, lot of foliage and a lot of flowers. A lot of, it's very, very pretty, and most of the time of the year it is. Um, however, this is a really good location for filming in, in the, the autumn as well as uh, definitely during uh, the uh, Halloween time to do Halloween shoots, those kind of themes. So we'll just keep rolling on here. So here we are at a we are at a uh, fork in the road. We can go either uh, left or right, obviously. If we go right, we're going to run into the waterfalls, which we'll show in a little while. But first, we're going to go to the left and show you what's back here. Uh huh. This way. Okay. <laughs> so as you can see, we once again come to a fork in the road, and we're gonna keep going to the left-hand side. Now, for the sake of this video, I'm not gonna walk this whole park. Uh, what I wanted to do is just kind of give you an idea of the diversity of the scenery as well as the scenery. So for a photographer's tip, what I would recommend is to make sure that you know where the sun is gonna be at a certain time of the day. Um, also take into consideration that day's uh, that day's weather, as far as if it's overcast, if it's gonna be raining, and that may lead to better pictures for you, you never know. I think my jib's broken. So to me, this would be a very cool location 
uh, depending on depending on obviously where the sun is for uh, a couple's picture or a, a funny picture or pretty much any kind of picture that has to do with multiple people um, obviously the the bench itself is a piece of art with the background and moving forward So some of the waterways in Albertsons Park sometimes get a little bit murky. So, but you know that can add to the effect if you're doing like a doing like a science fiction shoot or a swamp thing shoot. It's pretty cool though. It makes for a good background. There are a number of really cool bridges at Albertsons Park. So these would make for good uh, family pictures. Obviously when it's a little bit later in the day or earlier in the day or overcast when it's shaded uh, But you do have Some pretty cool backgrounds back here um, If you're really motivated you can get someone up on that rock there just safety first off obviously you might want to ask For the sake of this video uh, might put someone out there on that that ledge make them make them fall in the water and get a funny shot real quick This little kick out is pretty cool for family photos when it's uh, backlit a little bit. The sun rises from, or excuse me, the sun goes down directly across from this pond. So sometimes it gets a, it has a really good background as far as when the sun's going down. Okay, another split in the road. And we're gonna go left. Here we go. And as you can see, some really good uh, lake picture uh, opportunities. Uh, you can have some swans out there, maybe riding some geeses. Uh, you never know, it's a really good water location. Okay, one thing also about Albertsons Park is they have these really cool um, stone benches all over the place that are great places for doing sitting shots or laying down shots. Okay, so we're going to continue on here. As you can see, the this is an extremely beautiful location. And got lots of not lots but there's stone there maybe you can use that as a background maybe jump off of it get a, a jumping shot more swamp for more science fiction and swamp people stuff okay so now we're coming up on one of the structures here So it's the, the rookery. So the sky is kind of the limit on this location if you're into this kind of a style. Uh, we've got a lot of really rustic wood uh, structure. As, and there's a fire truck just in time. Anyhow, we've got uh, rustic wood. Uh, as well as stone, uh, as long as stone sculptures 
and more stone benches and more stones look at that so moving out of the structure get more water uh, waterway action is, and another stone bench this one's really good again for uh, doing backlit uh, couples or families uh, or maybe if some dude just wants to have his picture taken or some lady moving forward Now there's a little kick out area right here uh, with a kind of an upper dock and a fence. And what's really cool about this place is if you get people to, to line up on the top of the banister there and you push one of them, you can get a really, co really cool uh, surprise shot. It's a lot of fun. Okay, so as you can see, um, we've got another split in the road here. And again, we're gonna go left. We're gonna come fill those other areas in later, maybe. Um, but I wanted to emphasize the possibilities here for photography and video sessions. If you're into lily pads, they got those. Perfect for a Swamp Thing movie or a zombie mermaid photography session or something like that. Okay, so now we've come to another fork in the road. Uh, this time we're going to go right because to change things up. And off in the distance, you can hear the pterodactyls talking to each other. And I just kicked the tripod. So once again, just uh, impromptu, this is a would be a really good spot for Maybe a walking down the path if it's overcast so you don't have that blast in the background or if the sun's going down. And more lily pads. Cool tree. Kick this tripod. So, another cool bridge location. More 
lily pads. Okay, so if you can see where we came from, we came from that direction. Earlier, this was one of our uh, splits in the road where we turned, turned left. Now we're gonna, this is where you would come if you would have turned right. And as you can see, we got a huge field of weeds that look like flowers that are really cool looking. Another fork in the road. So here's a cool another here's another cool rock you can have people lean up against that use it as a background have people sit on it safety first so if you can see when we first started the coming into the park um, that was where we would have taken a right and it would have came down this direction and then we can turn it here and go to another bridge. So now we're going to go into another one of the structures, or actually the other structure at Albertsons Park, which is pretty popular for people for uh, like wedding parties and couple shoots and nature shoots and fairy shoots and Halloween shoots and Christmas shoots and Easter shoots and caveman shoots and Star Wars shoots and a couple others.
and reveal. And again, you could probably do some, get some zombie mermaids out there to do a swimsuit suit or something. But this is pretty cool. So the cool thing, another thing cool about this venue is if you're doing video or um, photography, it makes for a really good background after I kick the tripod. Makes for a really good background for walking shots, um, for like I say, for video or for photography. And right across the street, we got more weeds that look like flowers. And the tripod fell apart again. So what? Once we get through that structure, then this is the other uh, way out of the park. If you can see. Yeah, this is the other side of the, the weeds that look like flowers that look cool. So, here we go. Okay, so that's a quick tour of Albertsons Park in downtown Boise. I hope this was helpful. Um, one little piece of advice I wanted to give to uh, both photographers and uh, people that are thinking of possibly having a photo session in the future is go scout these places out different times of the day. Um, more, this is more for photographers, obviously, so that you know what you know, the, kind of the terrain is going to be, where the sun's going to be certain times of the day. Um, and just kind of get an idea of what would be a good location for your potential photo shoot. Um, and as far as people that are having uh, their pictures taken, um, it's, it's really important to be um, as, have as much communication with your photographer as you can. Um, a lot of times you hear, you know, you're the professional and you're absolutely correct. Uh, we are the professional. We also want to make sure that you enjoy and are very satisfied with the session that you have. Um, therefore, it's, it's uh, pretty important to just uh, be have as much communication on what your expectations are, what you do want, what what, uh, what you do want, what you don't want. Um, possibly provide some examples of, of things that you've seen in the past to help out, um, because there again, the photographer wants nothing more for uh, for you to be happy with the results. And uh, the more that you can communicate with them on, on what, that, uh, what those results look like, uh, the better everybody's gonna, the better everybody's gonna be in the, the long run. So uh, uh, hopefully this video was helpful. Uh, be sure and click, and click to subscribe so that you can get more of these informative videos and click like. And make sure if you have any ideas as far as uh, other locations, please leave a comment below. And if this wasn't very helpful, please leave a comment below. What, what would you like? What would be a better uh, representation of the locations? And look out for the next one. Thank you. I forgot to point out this bitchin' background they have at Albertsons Park. Pretty cool, huh?